Hello, this is Kai, and this video is a continuation of our uh, Particle Photon for Beginners series. So, here I'm already on the build.particle.io website. I'll zoom in so you can see the URL. We only really need the first part of it. We can go ahead and take that out, and then I'm going to just reload the page. Okay, so now that we have it loaded, I'm going to just click code. It's already clicked, but I'm going to click code. Um, I'm going to create a new app called Blink. Push enter. It's going to save it. And now we're going to begin the app. So I'm going to start by declaring in a variable called uh, LED, and we'll make it equal to D7. And what this means is I want to reference output slash input pin number D7 on our device. Now if we go ahead and take a look at our device on our particle photon we'll see that the D7 pin it is highlighted blue and it has a little LED light on it. So we're going to just be using this LED light that's built onto the device already, just in case um, someone doesn't have an LED. We'll just go ahead and do this so we can start writing code out right away. So we'll declare a variable called LED, and it's equal to that pin D7. Then what we're going to do in void setup is do pin mode parentheses LED. We're we're referencing this LED variable that we just created up here and then we want this to be an output because we needed to output something in this case we're gonna tell it to output light so it's just sending some current to this LED light and then I'm going to do digital right and again, I'm going to be referencing this variable LED over here. And I'm going to put it as low initially. And the reason that we're going to initially, let me zoom in a bit, I apologize. Now, the reason that we're going to be writing it as low is because by when we start up this program, we want it to be off originally. We don't want the light to just be on, so what this is saying is when we set everything up, we're going to start it off by turning the LED light off. And in our loop here, this is where we're going to start turning the light on and off. So I'm going to do digital right, digital right, and in here I'm going to reference that LED again, and then I'm going to write it as high. So now I'm sending some current to that output right here. So really what we're saying right here is I'm gonna put some output to LED and LED is pin number D7 on our particle photon. And D7 if it's gonna be having output it's gonna emit light out of the LED that's on it. Okay, we'll go ahead and then do a delay because this is in a loop. So everything that's inside of this loop is just going to be looped continuously. And if we tell it to just continuously loop writing out um, high, then that means that it's just going to constantly be telling this light to be on. So there's not really a reason to loop it because we could just put, we could just declare it as high or on in the setup if we wanted the light to be constantly on without turning off. But that's not our intention. What we're going to do is delay this by 1000 milliseconds or one second and then we're going to write it to be low. So digital right, LED, low. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll add another delay. Otherwise what it would do is it would say okay I'm going to write it high, I'll wait one second, then I'll write it low, but since there's no delay here, I'll automatically write it high again. So really we would never see the light turn off, it would just be on the whole time. 
So we'll do another delay for 1,000 milliseconds or one second. And just like that, we've actually created the first program. And what I'm going to do now is go here to, let's see, devices and zoom in. We see right here, I have this device connected, XJ9. So when we have something um, starred right here, that means that that's the device that we're going to flash. So I need to flash my device now or update its firmware so that it runs this program on it. And I'll go ahead and do flash and zoom out. Right here we see flashing code, flash successful, please wait a moment. And then we'll look at our device and if our device is flashing um, blink, uh, green and then it starts you know, breathing magenta, then that means that we have successfully flashed our device. Now let's switch over to demo and I'll show you how this code works in action. Okay, so my device is connected to the internet and it's plugged in. Now I'm going to flash the firmware that we just wrote, flashing right now, and we're going to notice the color change very rapidly. Now we see right there it's blinking. It's blinking more, and there, we flashed it. Now we see our LED right there at D7, high, then low, high, then low. So what this is doing when it's flashing is it's flashing, it's writing to that D7 pin to go high, and then it's delaying 1,000 milliseconds or one seconds, and then it's telling it to write low. So it's turning it on and off.